I know, I know, I know we can't talk about Bruno, but could I talk about Encanto? Hey everybody, Bloodman Bobby here. Sorry it's been a while since I lasted video, been busy with some projects outside of YouTube. But anyway, I'm here to finally review Disney's Encanto. Especially since I did a couple trailer reactions, I still wanted to check out the movie. And also especially since my dad and sister saw the movie, and my dad in particular seemed to really like it. And I know that in my family, um, if my dad really likes something, then there's a good chance that I'm going to like it as well. So what exactly is Encanto about for those who don't know about the movie? So Encanto follows a character named Mirabelle and she lives in a family with members that have all sorts of magical powers. There's another character who can lift heavy objects and another who is able to generate flowers. And the thing is Mirabelle doesn't possess any of those magical powers and she's basically the outcast of the family until one day she starts having visions that the house is going to break apart and fall apart. So basically the movie is her trying to get down to what's happening, what, you know, could cause this, and she's trying to stop this whole catastrophe from happening. So overall, I do like uh, the lead characters in the movie. Mirabelle is very likable, and I was able to relate to her, and I like the magical powers of the various family members too. And, of course, everybody has been talking about, um, in particular, one song from the movie, We Don't Talk About Bruno. And while I do like the song myself, and I do think that it does a good job establishing why, not only why the family is afraid of Bruno, but also showing that even though the family, the Madrigals, they mean well and they're good people, they do tend to get very, like, paranoid to the point of where they want to avoid a, these kind of scary situations as much as possible. At the same time, at least to me, we don't talk about Bruno, even though I like the song. It didn't stand out like uh, much more than the other songs. Generally speaking, when it comes to the songs of Encanto, I, you know, like them generally about the same. I basically have the attitude of, yeah, that's a pretty good song. And it's hard for me to say we don't talk about Bruno is better than the other songs because I also like the other songs in the movie. I think they also do a really good job establishing the characters and even revealing surprises in some circumstances. Like, I remember the song Surface Pressure sung by the really strong character Louisa. And I was, when it got to her song, I was thinking, wait a second, why is she suddenly talking about herself? But then for the song, Long, she uh, she describes a lot of the pressure that she's put under or, or um, you know, through her daily tasks. And I was like, oh, okay, so it's revealing some of the insecurity she goes through as a character. And another song that I also really like was Isabella's song, What Else Can I Do? I was also, and that was actually a song that I was actually genuinely surprised with for lack of a better way to describe it, what they did with that song. And she was able to discover a surprise of one of her um, magic capabilities, which I won't give away here. I really don't want to spoil that. So I also really like that song. And even the song that Mirabelle sings early on in the movie, Waiting on a Miracle, where she sings about how she wishes that she had these kind of magic abilities. Like, I really felt for her. So I really generally liked all the songs in Encanto. Um, it's just hard for me to pick a favorite because I generally feel the same about the songs where I was like, yeah, that's actually a pretty good song. But I think the best part of Encanto, even more than um, we don't talk about Bruno, is really the thing really any movie should get down the most, and that would be the story. Because I really got wrapped up into the mysterious aspects of the movie. When Mirabelle was having those visions of the house falling apart, I really wanted to know, you know, what's happening? Who can she talk to? Is Bruno a good person to ask? And that kind of thing. It really kept me guessing throughout the movie. 
and really that's my favorite aspect of the film even even more than the songs I think um I was just really surprised how engaged I was with the story and trying to find out where is it going to go yeah I think overall um Encanto it has a pretty engaging story maybe I wouldn't say it has the most like twists or surprises or abstract messaging or anything of the sort but it is one of those movies where even if you could kind of guess where it's going to go, it's still exciting to try to figure out how exactly the movie is going to get there. So overall, I do really like Encanto. The songs are great. I really like the characters. It's very well animated. And most importantly, I think that it's a very well told story. So I do recommend the movie. And I want to hear your thoughts down below. What do you think? Have you seen Encanto? What do you think of the movie? What's your favorite song? Leave all those thoughts down below. And until next time, this has been Blood Moon Bobby, and thank you all for watching. Hi everyone, thanks for watching this Blood Moon Bobby video. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos, and ring the bell to be notified about my latest uploads. Don't forget to follow me on social media for my latest opinions and video updates. I hope to see you next time.